I've got to rest before I carry those boxes up three flights of stairs. Oh, look. Mom brought all her games. Trivial Pursuit, Backgammon, Scrabble. Oh, it's going to be fun having her here, isn't it? <laughs> Ted? Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Look, Margo, when we first talked about this, I liked the concept. Your mother's all alone. We have plenty of room. She can babysit. She can help us financially. It's perfect. I hate it already. <laughs> You're nervous because someone's invading your space, but you'll adjust. You love Mom. Right. And one of the reasons is, because if it wasn't for Mom, I wouldn't have you. Grandma's coming! It's Grandma! Hi, Grandma! There she is! <laughs> I didn't know moving me in could be such a turn on. Grandma, your room is a mess. It looks like Kevin's room. You're my kind of woman, Grandma. That <laughs> a boy. That a boy. Is that a new plant, Mom? No, same old Chefalera. I just found out it had spider mites, and I, I sprayed it. Come on, Ted. Lots more stuff in the cup. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to rest a minute. You know, we may have to spray him for spider mites. What are spider mites? What are spider mites? Well, they're little insects that eat plants, and they go... They just eat everything all up. You won't see that on PBS. So come on, Ted, let's get going. Oh, Mom, Mom. Maybe we better all rest for a minute, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, just for a Come minute. On, Let's take a break. Oh, good. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Oh, it's so good to be here. It's so good having <laughs> you here. Oh, I'm in Grandma Heaven. <laughs> what is that? My alarm. I said it so I wouldn't forget the tuna. The tuna? Yeah, I knew we'd all be busy. We wouldn't want to cook, so I made a tuna casserole. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> it's in one of these boxes. Which one? I don't know. I forgot. I found it. <laughs> Becky, Becky, darling, come yes. here and take this. Get it in the refrigerator for me, will you? Now, is that too heavy? No. You okay? Yeah, then, will you take this upstairs yeah. to Grandma's room, please? Sure. All Thank right, you. come on, Ted, let's get cracking. Oh. Come on. Oh, boy. You know something, kids? I am so happy that my bedroom is on the third floor. You know, the stairs are great for your heart and your lungs, and it firms up your thighs. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, I almost forgot. What did your dad say on the phone? About what? about Mom moving in. Oh, uh, he took that very well. Oh, good. I was afraid he might hate her having the grandchildren all to herself. No, he didn't say a word. Uh, I wonder what he'd say if you really called him. We'll never know. <gasps> Ted! Oh, Margo. I, this was Dad's... This was Dad's first vacation from the hardware store ever. I, I didn't want to spoil it for him. Well, we've got to tell him sometime. We have to? 
Well, yeah, a mom could live here for 25 years, and when he comes over for dinner, there's just a vague chance he might bump into her. Uh, you're right. Okay. Tell you what I'll do. I'll wait till he gets here tomorrow from Hawaii. He's all tan and rested, and, uh, and then I'll tell him. Good. Yeah. 25 years? Tw Margo, did you say 25 years? Margo! Ow! Feeling better, honey? No. Uh, I must have made 50 trips up and down to the third floor yesterday. Didn't the hot shower help? A trip to Lourdes wouldn't help. <laughs> Becky, please, honey, I need the couch. That's my kind of music. <laughs> uh, Benny Goodman, uh, Glenn Miller? No, Top Jimmy and the Rhythm Pigs. <laughs> uh, listen, kids, we want to talk to you about something. Yeah. What'd I do? <laughs> Nothing, dear. Good. What'd Becky do? <laughs> Nobody did anything. It's just that we haven't told Grandpa that Grandma has moved in. When are you gonna drop the bomb? <laughs> never mind, Becky. What do you mean, never mind, Becky? Never mind, what do you mean, never mind, Becky, Kevin? <laughs> Your mother's at her blender again. Oh, come on. Those health drinks she makes aren't so bad. Uh -huh. They're very good for you. Uh -huh. Yucko, bar for room. <laughs> All righty, who wants a glass of energy? I know they Thank got you, Mom. No, no. Thank you. <laughs> Too bad, it's awfully good for you. It's made from yogurt, wheat grass, and bee pollen. Oh. You don't know what you're missing. That's, uh... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Maybe he got a hold of a disgruntled bee. never met anyone that didn't like Hawaii. You have now. Nothing but lovely sandy beaches, blue water, hula girls, and gorgeous sunsets. I couldn't wait to get out of that Waikiki wasteland. <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty good to me, Dad. Yeah. Uh, Curtis, yeah. how did you ever get your nose so burned? Well, I was paying $100 a day for a hotel room. I thought I ought to get my money's worth. <laughs> So well, I went out and sat on their beach. Unfortunately, I fell asleep. <gasps> you got burned all over? Uh. Oh, no, dear, no, no. Happily, I was wearing this suit. <laughs> grandpa, did you bring us presents? Now, Kevin. Kevin, when did your grandpa ever not bring you a present? Of course I brought presents. I brought gifts for the entire family. How about right. that? Speaking <laughs> of gifts, here we are. An exact replica of a nice canoe. Yeah, there. that's enough. Well, that will be you, my boy. A real and a grass skirt for my little sweetheart. Thanks, there you Dad, are, love. Mom. And just strung up this morning oh. for you, dear. There oh, beautiful you are. Lay. Yes. yes. Lovely. And a nice fresh pineapple. For you, son. <laughs> hey, thanks, Dad. 
Oh, I, I didn't bring you a present. I, I never think of you as family. <laughs> I, I hope you're not offended. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I, I think I need a vacation to recover from my vacation. I am exhausted. Well, I just happen to have just a drink for you. Uh -huh. Watch out, Grandpa! <laughs> Here you are. Make a new man out of you. Oh. oh, by the way, Lucille, could you drop me off at my apartment on your way home? Uh, uh, Dad, um... Yes? Uh... I am home. I live here now. <laughs> You're living here now? I just moved in. Yeah, she, uh, she sold her house, Dad. She's gonna babysit and, and help with the finances. My job doesn't pay all that much. Yeah, and a law school is a lot more expensive than we thought. Ooh. Grandma's gonna be here all the time. Isn't that totally great? <laughs> totally great. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll uh, help you get to the car, Dad. Oh, all right, thank you very it's much. good to well, have I'm you glad. back. All right, yeah. I'll see you at the store in the morning, Curtis. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> well, I've been running it while you were away. You, 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 you've been running my hardware store? Our hardware store. You know, you have a very convenient way of forgetting that my husband, Sam, left me half of that store. I know, I know, but you never showed any interest in the business when he was alive. Well, I'm interested now, and it's a good thing, because Leonard got the flu while you were away, and I had to take over. Well, he's not but, supposed but, to get the right, flu. You take one. it easy. I'll come over tomorrow, and I'll show you where everything is. I know where everything is. You know where everything was. Was, 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 was. Yes, I moved a few things. You, you move, you, yeah. you move. She moved a few things. What is a few things? It's all right. It's two of you. No, it's one of okay, you. Yeah. I've got to know what you oh, is. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Come again? Yes, do come again. She's a lovely lady. Lovely lady. Oh, Leonard, did you get that stuff? Getting it now, Mrs. B. How do you feel today, Leonard? Oh, a lot better. The whole time you were in Hawaii, I had a fever I couldn't eat, and I ached in every bone in my body. <laughs> and he still had more fun than you did. <laughs> Don't you have something to do? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'll just... Uh... <laughs> I'll take these. Oh, well, two balls of our finest string. Apparently, I am talking to a lady who knows her twine. <laughs> <laughs> and since you are so discerning, I hope that you'll become a steady customer. I've been one for 20 years. <laughs> Would you care to charge that, Mrs. Finley? Yes, please. Okay, that's two balls of twine. Oh, I forgot. I want an ice tray. An ice tray? Coming up, one ice tray. As I remember, you have a very large refrigerator. You want the large size. Well, we have a very good buyer. Uh, the white ones were... Lucille? Yes? Where did we put the ice trays? Yeah, where did we put the ice trays? Now, let's, let's think. Let's. Uh, I, I think they're right back here. Back. Um, uh, no, no, no. Let's see. I think they're right over here. Uh, no, no. Won't take long, Mrs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're right up here. Here's your ice tray. Sorry for the delay, Mrs. Finley. It's all right. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> 
good help is hard to find. <laughs> Lucille. Look, I'm really sorry about your nose, Curtis. Why did you move things? Well, that was part of my master plan to make the store more efficient. How's that? By rearranging everything alphabetically. Alphabetically? Yes. That way you don't have to look for anything. You know right where it is. Look, I started by moving the A's, and there aren't a lot of A's, so that was easy. But the B's, do you know there are more items at a hardware store that begin with the letter B than any other letter? Well, good for B. <laughs> no, no, really. There are baby bottles, bandsaw blades, barometers, batteries, beach umbrellas, brooms, brushes, buckets, bunt pans, Burlap bags, blenders, bolts, and blow torches. I will never take another vacation. Oh, now, Curtis, stop. I will not after... Oh, yes, sir. May I help you, sir? I, I just want to browse. Oh, just wants to browse. Right up there in the bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I've done something else to improve the store. I don't think the store or myself can take any more oh, improvements. Oh, now, look at this. An industrial-sized fire extinguisher. Oh. A very nice salesman named Roger Dempsey stopped by and explained how we really do not have adequate fire protection. Do you know, if we had a fire, you and I could be wiped out, and Roger gave me a very good deal on this. He should have. Roger has been trying to sell that fire extinguisher for five years. Well, I still think it's a good idea. Lucille. What? What is this contraption? It is a pasta maker. They're all the rage. Oh, you want rage? Well, no, I give you rage. Pasta right maker? Right. Did you say pasta maker? Is that it, pasta maker? Yes. Well, obviously it's a pasta maker, yes. of course. Yes, we what just got it in, yes. Well, how does it work? Uh. <laughs> well, you uh, you make your dough and then you put it through here and so that it makes a thin sheet. I'll show you. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, let, let no, me help. Let never me help. mind. Come on. No, never now, mind. Lucille, I'll find you it. Let me... uh, see, then you turn the handle like this and run the dough through so that it comes out in little strips. So you just do uh, They're dangerous. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Here, here, let me... Let me even that up for you. I'm really sorry. Oh. We're all out of 200 watt bulbs. We're gonna have to reorder. Leonard, yep. I thought you were going to stop smoking. Mm. Uh, well, how'd that get there? Mm. You promised you'd quit. I'm going to. This is my last one. Now you have quit. <coughs> you promised. You promised. All right, thanks. You know, you are going to have to stop smoking your pipe. Why? Because you should set a good example for your grandchildren. Well, I don't set a bad example. Oh, smoking. the grandchildren. I was supposed to pick them up at school. Well, wait, wait a minute. It isn't 3 o'clock. They get out at noon today. <laughs> She's something else. Too bad we don't know what it is. <laughs> what, what are you kids doing here? Grandma forgot us. No. Jennifer's grandmother gave us a ride. Well, you poor dears. I'm so sorry. Oh, Good. dear. I forgot my purse. Oh, dear. Hey, kids, how'd you get here? They were brought here by a real grandmother. <laughs> oh, really? I am so sorry. F fire! Fire! Call the fire department! You need a cigarette. You, 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 you threw it away! The fire department!
I'll just never forgive myself. I can't believe you actually forgot to pick up the kids. And then almost drowned them. <laughs> and I call myself a grandmother. <laughs> well, actually, they did say they had fun. Well, Dad sure didn't. He said the store is a mess. Well, at least I put out the fire. <laughs> you also started it. So I came out even. <laughs> you know, I have been yelled at before, but never, never the way Curtis did. But well, that man's face was purple. It clashed with his red nose. <laughs> you know that's funny? It's not really funny, Mom. No, not really. <laughs> no. You know, I was trying so hard to get along with Curtis. I thought he'd be pleased with what I'd done at the store. But I'm a failure, and I'll never bother him again. When he comes over to see the kids, I'll just stay up alone in my room. <laughs> I think I'll go up there now and lie down. <laughs> you know, being despised takes a lot out of you. I will not trust my grandchildren with that woman. She's a menace. I'm moving in. Oh!